Hey guys, it's Mike the Scrapper. I'm going to the scrapyard. This is what I did for Memorial Day. Or that whole weekend. Kind of looks like Sanford and Son. Now this is just all the steel. <laughs> now let me show you what's in the backyard and see what a headache I have. This is just some of the stuff. A battery. Got some stuff from uh, projection TVs. You have a dryer, like a brass, I guess, chandelier. Some TV stuff. A water heater. I'll be making a video on that, showing you what's inside that water heater, as I'm curious, as much as you are. So now let's go into the backyard. Now, some of the stuff you've seen before, there's from that last video. Some of the stuff I've had here before, but I couldn't get rid of it yet I'm still still working on it uh, look ants yeah that's gonna be a problem I had a printer had some ants in it and now I'm gonna have to spray it so let's start over here okay shopping cart full of stuff you can see uh, things from TVs and wiring and a fax machine and some other stuff on the bottom there then this one again more TV stuff and you can see that's a big big bucket this is from a barbecue that I just took apart. There's some yolks. Vacuum cleaner. There's another power washer. There's some more stuff. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take it apart, get rid of all the plastic and all the steel, and then just stay with the copper and the boards and stuff so I can strip those later. You see here's some more TV boards. More stuff. There's another big bucket with a bunch of other stuff in it. More buckets and more stuff. And this back here, this is a one of those ovens that you get that the bakers have when you go to a deli. That's one of those. And um, right now, I'm just stripping a barbecue and a TV set. Now this is what it looks like in my backyard. Now, this is the backyard. <laughs> I feel like trash, okay, having all this stuff in the backyard and my kids not be, being able to play back here, but it's almost done. I'm almost done picking through this stuff. I'm going to bring start bringing this stuff down into my basement and start taking it apart. It's horrible, guys, that I get, I, guys, I'm getting so much stuff, and now I'm getting people bringing it to my house. They, I no longer have to go pick it up. They're bringing everything to my house. All right, and this is all from this this DVD, Mike the Scrapper, Secrets of Scrapping. This is where it's all coming from. Like I said, I don't go out anymore. I don't do the trash finds, only because people are bringing it to my house and they're calling me. All right, so if you guys want the DVD and you don't want to pay through the internet, give me a call. Um, send me a personal message. I'll send you the address to send the uh, money order, money order to, so you can get stuff like this and start picking. Now, I've been doing this for three days, and I still haven't even made a dent in this stuff. All right, so this is what I got for all that steel. Now, the upper is just the regular steel, and that was $65.50. The bottom one was 150 pounds of heavy steel. That was all those uh, fence poles, so that was about $18.75 there. So I got a total of $84 for that whole truckload of stuff. Not bad, it's only gas money, and months ago I would say, nope, I'm not taking the steel. I would donate it to people that were collecting the steel, and I would just keep the copper and the aluminum. Not anymore. All right, so this is it. That's what I got there. All right, guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe, get the DVD. Till then, guys, peace. Hey, guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. After those three days of scrapping, I'm really tired and I'm right now on the beach just relaxing, getting some sun, thinking about some new videos to make. Up above, you'll see three other videos. If you haven't seen them before, please click on them. If you have a question, please ask me, guys. There's no such thing as a stupid question. All right, guys, till then, peace.